the sorrow of Moldavia command you. Oh, command me, Lord. Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube, and I want to welcome everybody out there to the very first episode of the 2021 Ghostbusters News Halloween Countdown. And we're kicking off this year's festivities in a big, big way. As you're seeing right here, we got our hands on one of the brand new deluxe replica Proton Packs from Spirit Halloween. Now we would like to send a huge thank you out to those at Spirit Halloween for sending this over to the Ghostbusters News headquarters and allowing us to show it to you here today. As well, if you wanna buy one of these for yourself, we do have a purchase link and it can be found right down below in this video's description. Now over the past month or two on GhostbustersNews.com, I've been talking, I've been writing about how this Proton Pack has been revised and updated. And before I get to tear into the box today and show it to you, I first wanna show you this revised and updated box. It's got that streamlined Ghostbusters flight suit khaki layout, which has pretty much been the norm for the vast majority of Ghostbuster collectibles over the past year. We got the Ghostbusters logo that looks like a patch, and then also the name tag that says Ghostbusters Proton Pack, deluxe replica quality with light and sound features. You'll also notice that the box does boast about the replica quality deluxe straps and belts. And I'm so excited to actually take a look at those new straps in the pack, because to me that is one of the biggest changes when it comes to this newer release. Now of course we have the main image here on the box, and I have to mention this because I know if I don't, I'll get roasted in the comment section. Yes, I know the Neutrono wand is upside down on the box. Definitely an oversight on Spirit Halloween's part, but hey, at least they corrected that on SpiritHalloween.com. And speaking of SpiritHalloween.com, once again, if you want to buy one of these, we got that direct link down below in this video's description. On the side of the box, it does have a few key selling points, mentioning that it does have a light-up removable wand with push-button activator, and on the bottom it says realistic light up and sound features. On the other side we have a guy just wearing the Proton Pack, there's really not too much to see there. And on the very back of the box there once again isn't too much to see. Now I know a lot of people are excited about this release, I'm really excited about this release, so let's go ahead and let's crack open the box here. All right, so we got it out of the box there and wow, first impressions, they really changed the color of this thing. Like this Proton Pack is actually black. And if you're sitting there saying, Jason, the last Spirit Halloween Proton Pack, it was black. This isn't news. Well, while it was dark in color, there was always this shade of gray with a hint of brown tinge to it. In fact, let's get them side by side right quick. The brand new Proton Pack is on the left hand side, and the previous release Spirit Halloween one is on the right. Like having them in front of me, it is so obvious, and I'm really hoping that the camera picks up the difference between these. Because it is pretty startling. As well, being that the new pack does have this much darker, more screen accurate appearance to it, I can see a lot of fans out there who actually want to modify these Proton Packs, totally opting not to paint it. Instead, maybe just going in with like a silver dry brush or what have you, and just adding some wear and tear to the pack. Now there are a slew of other changes here, with one of them being the ribbon cable. You can see on the original release, it was tiny, it was rinky dinky, it was really thin. But on the new pack, it's about double the width. Now it's not screen accurate in its appearance, but it's certainly a notable change and one that is for the better. Now another change that's a bit of a smaller one is this little cable right here. And right now we're taking a look at the newer pack. You can see it just looks like Split Loom. This is similar to what's seen in the movie Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. But in the original Spirit release, it's just a green wire. Now we're gonna get back to the Proton Pack here in a second, but first I wanna take a quick look at the Neutrono Wand. It is still the same size of Neutrono Wand, so they haven't made it like any larger. But much like the pack, it is cast in that much darker black plastic. Now a lot of the additional pieces on this Neutrono one, they remain about the same. So like the small like little clippered valve, there's no change there. The heat sink is the same. But one area that they did change and it makes a huge improvement, is you can see now the tip of the gun barrel. Rather than being a white plastic like what we saw with the previous Spirit release, it is now a translucent tube. And it's such a small change, but when you combine that with like the darker look of this Neutrono wand, it does make a pretty huge difference. Now, as we're taking a look at right here, lighting on the one does look to be the exact same. There is no change up there whatsoever. You've got the one light on the front barrel tip, and then you have this red light on the gun box for some reason. I don't know why, because it's not really there in the film, but whatever, moving on. Now, if you already own a Spirit Halloween Proton Pack, well, you know that the power button is located right on the top of the Neutrono one. So let's go ahead and hit that power button and see if we have any like new lights or new sounds. Okay, so it sounds like the, uh, you know, the same, the same sound. And uh, wait a minute, the cyclotron lights, they're going around in a clockwise fashion. Holy, like I had no idea before I sat down to record this video today that they actually changed this. Spirit Halloween, come on guys, you need to advertise this. 
I honestly feel the fact that I just showcased these rotating cyclotron lights, I just sold at least like two to 300 proton packs for you guys. Like seriously, put that as a feature on the website. Brand new rotating cyclotron lights. Own a Spirit Halloween proton pack or you've never really seen one in person, you're probably being like, Jason, why are you making such a big deal out of lights that go in a circle? Well, this is what the previous released Spirit Halloween proton pack cyclotron lights look like. I mean, it was cool that they lit up, but come on, seeing them go around in this clock-like fashion, just like we saw in the original film, it is so much cooler. Wait a minute, guys, I just noticed this too. They changed the power cell lights. In semi-similar fashion to what we saw in the film. It's not exact, it's not precise, but it is a huge improvement, especially comparing it to the previous release Proton Pack, which you're taking a look at right here, with these lights just flashing. So once again, this is the previous release Spirit Halloween Proton Pack, and this is the brand new one that, once again, you can pre-order at the link down below in this video's description. You can see that blue light works its way up and then works its way down again. Now, one area of the Proton Pack that Spirit did not change that I wish they did is that the actual wand here still kind of pegs in with like this whole attachment here. I totally get it. I understand why they do it. A peg popping in and out, you really can't break that. But if you had like a metal or plastic V-hook, something like you see like in the movie, there's a much higher chance for something to go wrong. Now, if you do buy one of these and you want to add like an actual hook to the Proton Pack and Neutrona one, it is really easy to do so. There's like countless tutorials up here on YouTube. Now, another thing I'm noticing here is it seems like the actual give in the split loom for this new uh, Spirit Halloween Proton Pack, like the actual split loom that connects the wand to the pack, is a lot more forgiving. It's not as giving as the split loom that is on my like screen accurate like replica proton pack, but it seems better here. And being that we are turning the pack around here, from what I see the motherboard is pretty much identical to what we saw with the previous Spirit Halloween proton pack releases. Now I've yet to tear into it, but the only difference I've seen is the battery compartment is now black instead of white. Now as I said at the top of the video, to me one of the biggest changes is the brand new straps being made to look like what we saw in the Ghostbuster films. Right now you're taking a look at the straps that was featured on the previous release Spirit Halloween Proton Pack. And these straps here, they're pretty much just like backpack straps. Like I know a lot of fans that have picked up these Spirit Halloween Proton Packs over the years, and this was like the number one thing that they changed. So I'm elated to see that Spirit noticed that, and they are giving fans a much better product at the same price point. So kudos to Spirit on that. Now having them in hand here, the straps actually do feel comfortable. Uh, I think they look good. Really, the only thing left to do is to try them on. Okay, so Proton Pack is now on my back, and yeah, this is certainly a huge upgrade. This really makes the outfit look so much more legit. Like if you were to go to a Halloween party with like the previous pack, like maybe 40% of the room, they would turn their heads and they would look at you. But if you go into a Halloween party now with this Proton Pack on your back, 95% or higher, guaranteed. And being that I do have it on right now, I want to be a big kid. Let me hit that button and play around with those lights and those sounds. Now, in addition to the arm straps, you'll also see that Spirit updated the belt as well. Now, comparing the new Proton Pack's belt to the previous Proton Pack, um, it didn't actually have a belt. I'm just noticing that now. Okay, so yeah, the belt on the brand new Spirit Halloween Proton Pack, it is just that, it is brand new. Now before I finish things off here today, there is one more comparison we need to do. And that is the brand new Spirit Halloween Proton Pack next to Hasbro's Ghostbusters Afterlife Spangler Neutrono Wand. Because it seems like the vast majority of people, if they wanna change out the stock Neutrono Wand that comes with the Spirit Pack, they're changing it out with the Spangler Neutrono Wand. And for those people, you'll be happy to see that the color between the wand and the pack, they're near identical. So you don't have to paint the pack for both of them to match. Now I would still recommend going in with like a dry brush or maybe a silver paint pen to give the Spirit Proton Pack a little wear and tear. But yeah, like I said, look wise, these look great together. So that just about does it for our look today. Once again, at the brand new updated and revised deluxe replica Proton Pack from Spirit Halloween. As I've said throughout this video, if you'd like to buy one for yourself, we do have purchase links and they can be found right down below in this video's description. Over the years, if you've been eyeing up a Spirit Halloween Proton Pack, but you just haven't pulled the trigger yet, pull that trigger and get, once again, this brand new revised rendition. You will not regret it. As well, I cannot wait to see what people can do with this updated rendition when it comes to like modifications because I've seen some amazing stuff over the years. Heck, a year or two ago here on the Ghostbusters News Channel, I changed my Spirit Halloween Proton Pack into a Spirit Halloween Real Ghostbusters Proton Pack. 
So once again, if you'd like to buy one, link down below in the description. I'd like to thank everybody for checking out today's video and also being here with me as we kick off the 2021 Ghostbusters News Halloween Countdown. As always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters News, check out our Patreon page. We have a link to that down below in this video's description. And I'll see everybody right back here next time.